Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to draw a pumpkin. Reminds me a bit of Jack Lantern's, well, it could be Jack Lantern's sister or girlfriend. Start with an oval shape for the, the pumpkin head and a bit of a shape, a line like this for the, the body. She's got a belt on there and then she's got a skirt that sort of flares out each side like so. And then we've got some arm sleeves, arms, one arm there, that's where one arm goes. The other arm's a bit more side on, so it comes down out here, like so. And obviously there's a neck. So I'm, she's looking this way, so there's gonna be one eye roughly in there, another eye in there. Now I'm just sketching it up. And then the smile is going to be in, in there. Don't forget to draw the pumpkin piece. A bit of lightning coming off there that we can do later on. Now her leg, so directly underneath here is her leg. And she's got these cool roller skates on. So this one's a bit more side on, a bit more tricky. I'm just going to plan that out first. Wheel there, wheel there. You see this wheel on this side? On this one, it's pretty much straight on. So you've got your laces, and then you've got your wheels, one at the front, one at the back. So bigger one at the front, smaller one at the back. Okay, so there's Pumpkin. And thanks, Ari, for your suggestion on drawing her. If you wanna see my Jacko Lantern video, you will have to check out the link later on. Let's start pumpkin with her eyes. So I'm just gonna draw a rounded shape here. It comes up like that. Now there's some other bit details in there. The reason it's sorta of is like that and she has another little bit of a zigzag there. So tiny one, little bigger one, and then a bigger one again, and then comes into the eye. Now the first part here is like an M, so this is the middle part, just draw a V coming up. So see how I mean by what I mean by an M? Then it's one more zigzag and then into the, the smile there. This way it comes the same, we have one bump like that, then up like this. Now we come down, come down past there. So I've got to come down a bit here, then it comes in, in. Now directly underneath that is a V as well. So let's do that. So we're sort of just following that shape now, there and there. All right, let's draw her pumpkin parts of her. So her chin is a bit of a shape like this. And that comes around. Bumping around like this. See how that oval shape has simplified the pumpkin down and made it so much easier for us. And then there's a line there, but I'm going to do that with shading. I'll sh make it look even better, like a pumpkin. But there we go. Now don't forget the pumpkin piece that has been cut off with a couple of little lines like that. Okay, now we've got the neck comes down she's wearing like a bow like a tie so we've got this shape comes across and then down there's her tie like there then she's got a top that looks like this and she's got a collar on down in out this one you see comes around out like that then it comes down to a V there, so you've got to curve that one around and curve that around. And she's got these buttons down to her waist, so I'm going to draw that down, a couple of lines down to her belt. Like a band that goes around her waist, double line there. She's got another single line through here, through here. And she's got some sort of ID badge on. Don't know what that says, but we'll put a few bits in. Looks like a barcode, and then she's got this little circle there. 
Let's bring her, um, her side up. Her side and her chest comes up and into there. And then she has like a puffy sleeve. Bring that around and then bring that around. And then we can puff the sleeve up a bit. Then she has her arm. She has some sort of like a, it's a bit of a, might be the sleeve. Oh yeah, it's the white part on her sleeve. And then she has this bracelet. Then her hand is like that. Now she's got this, um, reminds me a bit, a bit like a waitress or a maid or something. She's got a bit of blood spilled on there, so hopefully she hasn't been up to no good. That could be sauce. There we go. Now her skirt, so bring some lines out like this. One, two, three. more over here bring the edge of that now we've got to draw like the fold so bring that folds down just put some folds in it like that in her skirt and then she's got another white bit that does the same underneath just bring another line underneath there now her leg, she's got like a sock or something on there, a couple of laces coming over like this. Wheel, 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 side of the shoe, run of the shoe, bottom of the roller skate like that. This one's a bit trickier, so side of the wheel, front of the wheel, you see, you see that. I'm just going to put an oval in there. Same with this one. Like that. Got the laces, one, two laces there, but you actually see inside her shoe a bit here. Top of the shoe. And then bringing her shoe around like this. And then you see the inside of that wheel. And you might just see that part of the wheel there. Then she's got, she's got like a sock on this one. A bit of frilly bit around her leg. Let's put a frilly bit on this leg. Right, let's draw this arm. We're going to start it in a little bit more now. This is where our arm's going to be. It's like a puffy bit of a sleeve like this one. We can shade that. And then just finish this line here off. And go around her with a 0.5. Mm -hmm. 